Hello, and welcome back to Queen's Wish the Conqueror, where we are in the lands of the Nisei, and having a pretty hard time of things, uh, as expected, I suppose, of endgame content. Uh, I'm going to continue pushing through um, with my party as it is. However, uh, if I run into trouble, uh, serious trouble, one more time, I think, I'm going to spend some of my money, which I have way too much of at this point, and give my three physically defended, like, kitted out people uh, a set of magical defense armor. And see how much of a difference that makes to their survivability. Uh, I'm going to avoid doing that until I absolutely have to. Um, well, I'm going to say, I'm going to avoid doing that until... Uh, until the end of my next issue. I'm not really saying what I mean to say. Right, so if I run into issues again. In the meantime. Hmm, oh, this is a different event. Okay, you're close to these Nisei farmers. They're using unfamiliar tools to tend to the fields of fungi. You also realize, once you're close enough to see them through the dirk and mist, that they are armed. You watch them, hoping to learn something about these strange people without being attacked. They look you over, they look at each other and nod. Then they charge you, moving with terrifying speed. We got a warrior, artillerist, that's new. Warrior, warrior, artillerist, warrior. All right. Oh, that's some uh, physical defense there. I'm assuming that was physical defense on that ability. Let's get some distractions going. Yeah, this is physical. Six, so if I step forward one more, I should be able to hit everybody. Oh, maybe it was just a low damage roll. Four. That's not bad. Two, three, four. I wish there was an undo option, so when I see how this works, I can change my mind. Um, uh, shoot. This is not great. Okay, goodbye, Construct. A bunch of people were stunned. Uh, including me. Also stunned. Uh. Man, these, uh... AoE crits are... not very nice. Alright. Well, we took out that group of farmers. Hopefully. I was going to say, hopefully these are just one-offs. Um, maybe they've become hostile because I took out the farm area, because they ran away last time. They are hoping that their little trap was going to get me, but now it's not. Okay, well... Let's split up a little bit. No. 
know. Regular bows seem to be okay. Nice. Two, three, four. That puts me in range of this collar. One, two, three. Can I hit a bunch of people from here? If I go down one more, I think I can. Time to be a melee mage. But not for long. Okay, crawlers didn't get an action, so I don't have to worry about summons. Not that the summons are all that strong or scary, it's just that it's nice to not have to worry about it. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Got to find the magical spot that doesn't hit me, but hits hits them. Like so. I did, did leave myself a little bit vulnerable there, I guess. I think in general, I don't want to be in melee with these. So maybe taking more of a range-focused approach will do better for me. So we're going to go back to town and rest, and hope that... Um, I did deliberately clip that. I'm hoping that all three of these are going to be... Uh, just gone. Weaver? Warrior Weaver, hmm. Okay, mental effects, huh? It's the nice thing about the summons. Is that they seem to have immunity to all of the really annoying abilities in the game. Hmm. This isn't good. I'm just realizing all of my people are going to be quite heavily stacked up here. Just going to send these two out of out of way. Um, I say that. Is this your first action in this battle? I know I complain about this every single time, but I'm going to keep complaining about it because it's complaint worthy. Like, what is with the, uh, system in this game? I don't need to do that, actually. I can just shoot. Didn't have the target that I wanted. Take these out. These, um, weavers don't seem to be that scary. I'm just kind of in the habit of taking out casters first, but... 
this point, yeah, they're just... They're annoying more than anything. Like, they're just kind of doing random, random stuff. But it's not dangerous random stuff, it's just... Irritating random stuff. Okay, there's the dangerous random stuff. Uh, I'm not convinced that magical defense is going to make that much of a difference. It's hard to tell because the damage roll seems to be completely randomized on each person. Um, rather than rather than fixed. We've got a tent there that doesn't do anything. Um, okay, I guess we'll go around this way. Uh, we got thefted twice. It still made money? I guess we had a good stockpile. Yeah. Alright, so here is the test. Go back and see if all the farmers are gone, or if they've all respawned when I took a rest. I don't think that they'll be here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Which uh, kind of is in keeping with how this game generally works. We have another band of farmers here, maybe? Yeah. Oh, these ones are oh, cave tender, okay. I'm not sure just yet how dangerous I should consider these to be. You have pull arms. What are they doing? Okay, that hit pretty hard. Uh. I should probably be running away, honestly. Like, backing off with my, my units, since these don't seem to have any particularly scary ranged abilities. Silence? Oh, confusion. Yeah, since they don't have any particularly dangerous ranged abilities, keeping my distance and using projectiles seems to be the best strategy. Thank you, Radiance. Probably heal my main character. Oh, is that a heal? Yeah, he's clearly not the combatant, you say. Apparently, we are now enacting a genocide on an entire people, so we get to feel good about ourselves for that, too. Just like all the other morally upstanding decisions that we've been making throughout this gameplay. Through this playthrough. Alright. Well, that should be it for the uh, farmers. So, we had to run away here last time. It was pretty scary. We went down the trapdoor and it wasn't good. We got out. They're just gone. It's 
kind of what I was expecting. Like we beat the dungeon by getting out. Might be something neat in here. Don't need to do the entire dungeon in one go. One go. No. Okay, well, there wasn't something neat in there. But we're done. Okay, we are completely done with the farms then, I guess. Uh, what do the lizards have to say at this point? Not much of anything. Yep, they're just, just livestock. Don't need to kill them. Okay, well that's some pretty good progress. We got this, which is probably the um No, I was gonna say this is probably the end um the end game area, so we're gonna do this last, but I guess I've just triggered something. Uh when you get close to the tower, there's a shattering explosion, you fall to the ground. When you can rise again, you see that something has exploded the lands around the tower, the buildings around it have been shattered, the flames and smoke the flames and smoke billow upward. Already the acrid smoke is burning your eyes. What are the Nisei doing? Well, we'll find out later. Nice looking castle. Oh, more deadland. You're at the edge of a hunting ground. The cave floor is marked by long, scorched stretches. There are old, crumbling bones everywhere, most of them from humans or mirelings. You can't tell. They're, they've been too pulverized. You smell sulfur and rot in the distance. Strange orb-like creatures hover over the cave, looking for prey. Ah. A new month has begun. Items and stores are cheaper today. Interesting. Several of the Nisei hunting orb creatures fly over you. They look at you at dozens of ice dogs, evaluating you as prey. They hover over you, taking a moment to identify you. Then they recognize you. They must have received orders. They swoop down to destroy you. That was zombies. Kind of what I was expecting when I saw that they had humanoids with them. Let's try to take these things out as quickly as possible, because... My tyrants are scary. I don't care about the zombies. Zombies are just extras. Yeah, that's, um, mm. I mean, we can do incidental damage to the zombies, that's fine. Okay, we seem to be reasonably healthy. Ah, almost. Slow. Yeah, annoying, but not the end of the world. Probably should have switched weapons before doing that. Mm. 
zombie is not that scary. Has to be expected from an early game enemy. These probably have slightly higher stats than the early game zombies. Now certainly a lot more health. But overall, uh, they don't seem to be all that scary. Sentinel orbs have been destroyed. Ridding the world of these vile creatures is quite satisfying. Yeah, it is. Alright, so we got some sort of beholder den over that way, I guess. Hmm, more people? There was a town here, wasn't there? Just kind of walked past and ignored. Um, basically at full. I could go back and restore a few points, but I think we're going to investigate over here first. Uh, even though it's unnecessary, I like nego uh, negotiating. I like um, interacting with all the neutrals. Okay, these farmers disappear. Presumably once I finish this, they'll become hostile once I've you know invaded their home. But I like to I like to um, you know interact with all of these um, in advance, just in case I'm trying to beat a retreat out of the city with only one character, and uh, I don't want to bump into a hostile group intent on killing me at that point. Uh, you reach the outskirts of the city. It is abandoned. No people on the ramparts or at the gates. Its residents fled ahead of you. You have to admire the beauty of the bizarre architecture. A whole city in the underworld. You try to memorize the details so you can describe them to Delia later. She'll want to hear all about it. Oh. You are a hostile farmer group. Okay. Uh, priest got the first action, which is very lucky for me. Hmm... Yeah, artillerists seem like the sort of uh, people that I would uh, not like to interact with. One, two, switch, and be vulnerable. Uh, we're going to do a restoring rain just to make sure we don't fall too far behind the health race. And we're going to keep spreading out a bit here. Cave tenders weren't all that scary, as I recall. Oh, nice. I stunned all three of them. And that means that from this position, we can hit all three with this attack. Not a lot of damage, but it did cause bleeding. Oh, there's another one back here. Okay. Could be the end of her, but I don't want to risk it. Let's just... Burn these points. And I guess before we investigate the city itself, we'll do a complete circuit of the, um, the farmlands and just clear out any, any hostile groups and then go and rest. Right now I'm doing my melee strats, which aren't the best. Because it opens me up to AoE, like that. You look at just how much more damage I took instantly. Because I started doing it this way. I have to burn two more energy on a heal. Uh, you could have done an AoE here. I did set you up for it, but... That's fine. It's good that you didn't. Good for me, not good for you. Alright, let's...
Let's um, make sure that we're not hurting too much. Okay, you just fade away, at least for now. Who knows if that'll be what you always do, since you're going to come back later, probably. Uh, let's take out another stack of these. Skeletons this time. My Tyrant or I Beast? I've never... I never quite figured out which of these is the bigger threat. But I Tyrant has not had an action, so let's take it out before it gets one. Ow, oh, shoot. Ah, that's an action, and I got a turn right away immediately, of course I did. Ah, free mind. Oh, you're not. You're no longer affected. Okay. Here. No longer bleeding. Excellent. These look like physical attacks. I am grouped up. I don't like being grouped up. I think my character had a bow equip, but still charged to do a melee attack. As you do. Apparently I don't need to follow the rules anymore when I'm under the influence of the mind control effect. Yeah, that charming needs to go. Oh, come on. Quit missing already. Everybody's stunned. Excellent. Uh, let's just take you out. Yep, I know. Okay, back up. Four. That's also four. It's also four. It looks like I can only get four. Should have backed away with her on the previous turn. the end of that. Let's, um... Do I get to recharge these when I rest? That's kind of funny if that automatically happens. I should really confirm that. Okay, there's a body here. When you get close to this body, you realize that he is actually alive. He is an Ukatish man taken from the surface and hunted by the sentries of the Nisei. Try to revive him, but he is too far gone. Hunger and dehydration claim him. As he takes his final breath, he points into the air behind you. At last, they come. And I get ambushed. Okay. Now, it looks like I can run away, though, if I want to. I think I'm good for a few more fights, though. Uh, three, I Tyrant. 
I mean, this is really just cleanup that I'm doing right now. Walk 10. Oh, right, I'm... But I'm out of range. That's unfortunate. Silence, huh? Free mind. Let's see if they try to do dumb stuff to the construct like that. It worked. Excellent. Construct is definitely doing what it's intended to do. It's actually quite impressive. Are these eye tyrants. Hmm. Pretty dangerous. Oh, you are. Okay. In that case, free mind. You can't move any more this combat round. Okay. Then let's just end. Our turn. Just in case they get a crit with a spell. Return to the body of the Ukrish man. He is dead, and you can find no sign of who he was or why the Nisei took him. Did he reveal Nisei secrets? He probably revealed Nisei secrets. Alright, is this the last of the Eye Beast packs? Looks pretty dangerous, but I did get a first turn haste, so things are kind of in my favor. Fact. I want to play it super safe. Get a second minion before we start putting on damage. Now you're a little bit too close together, I think. Oh, and you're definitely out of confusion range. Or, um, Radiance range. Come on. There we go. One down. Confusion just for one turn. Silence resisted. Okay, that's not too bad. Once we're out of range, I'm going to. Man. A good call on my part. It'll be pretty sad if I take this eye beast out first. Oh no, they're getting getting evasions over there too. Oh wait, these are sapphire skeletons, not just regular skeletons. I probably should have actually checked them. Instead of just assuming that they were going to be 
regular, normal, harmless skeletons. Okay, when I don't use my special abilities, I hit, which is better for me in two re for two reasons. One, I'm actually hitting. And okay, never mind. And two, I'm not using up my energy to do it. Beast 2 is down. Vulnerable. Let's not be vulnerable. With just the skeletons left. It shouldn't be too scary. Oh, nice, I got a turn. Before the slow skeletons could catch up to me, so I could actually get away. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Miss and confusion. Again. No, it's done. Okay. Silence on the priest. That bow, it's usually good, but not always. So, you might feel like I haven't really accomplished a whole lot uh, today. But I have. basically cleared out all of the roaming monsters on the overworld at this point. Uh, quite satisfying. Okay, this is where they torment people, I guess. There's a massive doorway in the cave wall to the north. There is an opening at the top so that the orb creatures can hover in and out. There are four enormous cages to either side of the path where the prey of the Nisei's hunters are sorted until they are released to be hunted. The cages are empty. The Nisei will soon refill them with any surface worlders who offend them. You've discovered Valley of something. Okay. Didn't quite get to read that because I clicked and it disappeared. But I think that's it for all of the uh, wandering hostiles here. Oh, wait, there's one more. Okay. Oh, they're running away from me? No, they're just being... They're just being silly. Okay. Reasonably good start. one down. Probably should have used a special ability. Because I'm now grouping up and getting cocky. Okay, this is almost certainly my last fight before I go back to rest. Doesn't work. That's it. Um, 
might have some hostile farmers over here. Fade away. Oh, they're gonna fade away, yeah. Okay, which means that those ones probably will come back, because I haven't dealt with them. Fade away. Hmm. I wonder what triggers whether they attack or not. Maybe it's just random. Oh. Level theft again. That's pretty unlucky. We're short six resources when paying upkeep. Yeah, we ran out of wood. Okay. So the question is, do we get our potions back? No. Wait. Yes. Okay. Right. Um, energy potion. Let's let's just remove that from the list. You you don't have that ability anymore. In fact, we don't even have that type of potion anymore. Okay. That's been fixed. So we do get them back automatically. It doesn't really make sense, but I appreciate the convenience. Uh, I guess I never actually went up this way. Means we're probably not doing a dungeon today. What are you? Are you farmers wandering around? Yep. And this person. A man in bright clothes scampers down the road toward you. A court jester, the man flounces about in an absurd suit of garish red and green, a black mask, and a walking stick with jingling bells. Haven hasn't had jesters for centuries, but Delia loved to torment you by dressing you as one when you were little. He skips over to you, flipping up his mask to cover his greasy, matted hair. He has a manic grin and pale green skin. An aerial blast. I heard a prince of Haven wanders this land. Welcome, he bows until his nose almost touches his knees. Piero, at your service. Would you like to hear a joke? Fine, tell me a joke. He lowers his mask to cover his face and asks with excitement, What's brown as sticky? A stick. He shouts, A stick! He waves his walking stick in your face. The Nisei love that one. None of them know what a stick is, though. Smile politely. Want to hear another? Oh boy. No one, a swamp runner and a blessed, walk into a bar. He laughs at his own half-joke. The bartender looks at them and says, What is this, a joke? Pierre spins and curtsies. Want to hear another? What kind of tea is hard to swallow? You shrug. Reality. He bows again. Uh, he bows deeply. We will all die here. Want another? How many have you got? <clears> hmm. <throat> Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. I don't know why seven did it. Maybe nine just couldn't keep his stupid mouth shut. Why stop now? Indeed. Ah, oh, this is a tough one. So a duck walks into a bar and asks the bartender, got any grapes? The bartender says, I'm sorry, duck, we're a bar, and so we have wine and beer, but no grapes. The duck is sad and leaves the bar. The next night, the duck comes back. It asks, got any grapes? The bartender says, no, Duck, we don't have any grapes, and if you come back in here tomorrow, tomorrow night asking for grapes, I will nail your beak to the bar. The Duck runs out the door. Well, there's um, that's one response, I suppose. The next night, sure enough, the Duck comes back. The bartender grits his teeth as the Duck asks, do you have a hammer? The bartender explodes, what? No, of course I don't have a hammer. So the Duck says, got any grapes? With an exhausted bow, he collapsed to the road. Okay. That was, that was some payoff, I guess. No more jokes. Sleep time. He closes his eyes, curls up on the stone, and passes out. As you walk away, he starts to shudder and moan. Uh, okay. Uh, thanks for that, Piero. Uh, uh -huh. Well. Holiday. Brightest day. Undead attacks do less damage. Bringing back the uh, the old random events according to the calendar, I guess. Something the old spiderweb games did quite a bit. You have discovered charm, and there's apparently something into the walls. Uh, let's investigate. I said we're not doing a dungeon today, but we can probably do the surface level of the town at the very least. This is a small Nisei town. There are several low stone buildings separated by rows of fungal plants and small plazas. Well, you don't see your Nisei. The streets are lit, but empty. The town isn't fully abandoned, though little wisps of smoke are rising from several of the chimneys. Here we 
over here. Akola, huh? I am here. I can teach you. Interesting. Did we find a friendly settlement, but perhaps? I don't... Oh. Oh. I have a haven icon here. That is... that is interesting. Okay. I guess we're doing some talking for a bit. We'll see... see what's up. By talking, I of course mean exploring, because we need to get our map done first. Then we need to go into all the houses, unless they're locked. Ara and Aram. You're surprised to find a surface worlder down here. At least, it seems like one at first. This seemingly normal human engages in ordinary activities. You talk, but you get no response. The person completely doesn't notice that you are here. Odd. Okay, are they studying foreigners here? Is that what happens? They just magically enchant them and watch what they do? Ah, I see. You've got the three icons for the three lands. And then you also have a building for Haven. Uka and Ukan. Wait, are the people just... Yeah, Volus and Volia. Okay, they're just given names based on their... I noticed that this one, um, but I didn't, I didn't quite pay attention to the name here. Their names are just variations of their land name. Uh, okay, let's talk to you before we get into um, the haven area. This woman sitting by the fire is human, mostly. She has the white hair and pale grayish skin of the Nisei. The glint of mischief in her eye, however, is completely recognizable. Welcome to Charm Visitor. Sorry we could not give a warmer welcome. I am Makala. Who are you? I am Prince Nithin of Haven. Of course, we know all about you, your travels, the infection you spread. You are very industrious. Thank you. Uh, how did you know? When you say watch our continent in a thousand ways, we must tend to those we watch over, to care for them, to protect them, to punish them when needed. I hoped you would come. I want your help. You watch the surface? Of course we do. It is about survival and our duty. How do you watch? Spies, envoys, crystals of sight, and of course, the surface folk dreaming for us in our refuges. Uh, why do you watch? Sacramentum is ours. Okay, well that was actually, um, before I go on, that was actually a, little, a good little thing to throw in there. So the dreams... That explains what the purpose of the dreams is, uh, and that would actually be a fairly effective way to spy on people if you're able to observe their dreams. Uh, assuming that your dreams make any sense at all, which I suppose is another issue, but we can assume that, given that they seem to specialize in this sort of thing, that they'd be able to understand dreams. A sacramentum is ours. Its people are ours. We must care for them, especially when people like you come to bully them. You own the people on surface? No, they are more like our children. We must care for them, help them, discipline them. We are human like them, the Nisei are part of them. Where did the Nisei come from? We don't know. We are human. We came from the surface once, but are we Ukutish, Vol, Ariel? We don't know. I hope we never do. Ah. Makala silently paces around the fire sipping some tea. You can smell it. It's regular surface tea. The Nisei must trade for it. What do you mean punish them? Oh yes, all of, all on Sacramentum learn the Nisei are here. They learn we watch over them. They learn that they must never, ever talk about us. If they do not keep the secrets of the Nisei, it is necessary to punish them. If everyone on the surface knows about you, why were you a mystery? Most don't know of the Nisei at all. The few who do, some children of the Ukat, the Vol, the Ariel, they are told of us when young. Then they are told they must never speak of us ever. They are terrified with knowledge of what we will do when we find them out. We were told about you, though. Yes, whoever gave you the key will get the slowest and worst of punishments. We will find out. I promise it. We will search all dreams. Why do you punish them? We have to be hidden, or people like you will come to destroy us. Then, who will protect Sacramentum? I mean, I'm kind of taking that job from you, so I'll do it. Those who share our secrets hurt all on Sacramentum. How do you punish them? Those who betray us less? Those who aren't important? They are given to our protectors to hunt. It's how they practice. But those who have authority and still betray us? Their punishment is awesome and secret. I wonder if we're going to find a torture room somewhere. Figure out that little bit of lore. You said you want my help. Yes, while you are still here and alive, I would like to take advantage of your knowledge. You've been on the surface more than I ever will. I am making constructs. Human constructs. I'd like your help. Oh, is that what was going on in these buildings? Those weren't real people. 
Why do you want to make these constructs? They can walk on the surface and listen. When you say learn most of what we want to know from the surface, still, we can never be complacent. How can I help? Making a human construct is very difficult. The complexity of human life, even dumb, simple human life, is hard to write. I think I am close, though. As long as my constructs don't get too involved with other humans. Marriage, that sort of thing. Uh, I don't really want to help you, honestly. Alright, I thought you might want an interesting experience before the end. Just go then. We will deal with you soon enough. This building is empty. If I want to do anything here, do I have to agree? Let's at the very least see what she has to say. I will help you. Excellent. Talk to my constructs. Listen to what they say. See if they are believable members of their culture cultures or not. If they are inaccurate copies, tell them. Otherwise not. When you're ready, return to me. Have I spoken to the constructs correctly? She closes her eyes and concentrates. She shakes her head. No, I don't think so. Try again. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm doing it because it's a quest. It's a thing to do. There's a young Ukish man in this home. He is sitting at the table, flipping through an old musty book. He looks up at you and frowns. I'm Ukan. What do you want? Uh, tell me about yourself. I'm studying history. I want to learn more about my people. What have you learned? You outsiders think that we are lower than animals. It makes me very angry. I decided something about you. I don't think I want to know what you think of us, but talk anyway. Hmm. You speak like the Yukatish. Who are you to say? But I'll remember you said it. Returns to his reading. So is this a puzzle where I have to get I have to say whether they're accurate or not for all six characters? Uh, there is a young Ukatish woman in this home. She goes about her business quietly, making a simple lizard meat stew. She smiles at you. Hello, visitor. I am Uka. I will talk to you a little. Tell me about yourself. I'm just glad to have a visitor in my home. Okay, well this is this is going to be pretty obvious if it's going to be like this. I am not ready, though. There's still some mud on the floor. Is the dirt a problem? No, I suppose not. It comes from living in a swamp. Our visitors will get used to it soon enough. I'm tied on my clothes. You don't speak like the Ukadish. Oh, thank you. I'll remember what you said. She returns to her cooking. Uh, whoops, if I talk to them again... Okay. There's a young bull woman in this home. She's sitting at a table, concentrating hard on a drawing. Looks like a big building. She looks up at you and frowns. I'm Vulia. Why are you distracting me? What is that? It's a meeting hall I am designing. I am not sure. The center of the roof needs to be supported. You're worried it, you're worried it isn't? Oh, it is strong enough to hold, to hold it for a century. Maybe two, but five? The point is making a hall if it won't last that many years. Okay, I have decided something. You speak like a vol. Sure, make it quick. I'm trying to figure out the thickness of this pillar. Maybe a bit like, um... A bit stereotypical, perhaps, but I suppose these all are. That doesn't help me with this problem, but I will remember what you said. There's a young vol sitting on the edge of the bed. He is working hard on a big mug of ale. When you get close, he laughs. I'm Volus. I'm glad for company in my time of good fortune. Why are you celebrating? A bit of great fortune. I had borrowed money for seed to plant a new crop, but it failed in a harsh sun and desert. I went greatly in debt. And? I explained to the merchant what went wrong, and my debt was forgiven. In the harsh land of the vol, mercy is the most important value. I have decided that you do not speak like a bull. If you say so, I'll remember you said it. It's not a swig of ale. You meet a young man of the Ariel. He's not blessed, but he does wear their clothes. He's standing at the stove making soup. He waves you forward. I am Aram. I need your help. Please. What do you need? He holds up a spoonful of soup. Please, taste this. All right. You taste the soup and tell him what you think. Yes, an outsider's opinions are very useful. Thank you. I decided something about you. Uh, you don't speak like the Ariel. I remember you said that. Feel free to stop by later for more soup. Continues his cooking. They wouldn't respect the opinions of the outside world. Uh, you meet a young woman, a blessed of the Ariel. She is sitting at the desk writing a letter. She motions for you to sit and pours you some tea. I'm Ara. Please be brief. I have a lot of work to do. Uh, who are you writing? Some traders. They're sending a shipment of stone and they cheated us. The quality is not near what they promised. Is that a big problem? Of course, to be blessed is to have a duty to those who aren't. If they have to live in the trench towns, then at least we can work hard to help them. 
I've uh, decided something, but you also don't speak like Ariel. I remember you said that, though it isn't your place to judge me. She continues her work. So split, split, and both wrong. Let's see what you think. No, I didn't do it correctly. Okay. Uh, you speak like Ariel. I remember you said that. Really? You don't speak like the Yukatish, that is true. Absolutely true. That's 100% right. Wanna learn? Maybe you're lower than animals, it makes you very angry. Besides the thing about you, you do speak like the Yukatish, yep. Yeah, I'm 100% confident on that. What is that? I don't have to hold for a century, maybe two by five. What point of making a haul if it won't last that many years? I think... I think she speaks like the vole, but I don't know. So we'll say she doesn't. Say you don't. Is that enough? Can I just toggle them all one at a time? That's almost certainly wrong. Yeah, I thought that these were precise something about you. You don't speak like a bull. But you, you do speak like a bull, we'll go with that. Uh, you speak like an aerial. Speak like an aerial. And then I'll try switching those to not aerial. Alright, this is the last, last few attempts. Last few attempts here. Do you speak like an aerial? You don't speak like an aerial. I mean, this is this was my first attempt. Was this? Really? I thought that was the choice that I chose the first time. Maybe I did it wrong. I don't know. Because that seemed like the most obvious choice for each option, but it didn't work. Uh, oh, I guess... Right, the, the man making the soup. Because he's not blessed. Okay, I think that's what I got wrong. Because he's not blessed, he isn't uh, disdainful of outsiders. Maybe. I don't know. That one's, um... Uh, very good. I feel truth in what you have said. You have been very helpful. You deserve a reward. You have taught me something. I have taught you something. He looks at you and smiles. I will be below. Before you can respond, she has vanished. And that opens the door here. Okay. Well, I guess we get to continue with Charmed. Uh, next time, I'm actually at full health. Uh, full health and energy, so there's no reason to go back to the beds. So yeah. I will just save the game right here, and go down the stairs next time. I will see you then.